time no see long time i haven't picked up this camera in forever i'm picking it up now now it's time for me to hold on move, let me move this my goodness where to begin you guys um first off i quit my official nine to five um last year it's completely insane because within a year or i'd say kind of less than a year because September would officially be a full year that I have left the corporate America and um, have gradually moved into becoming a full-time seamstress. Um, something that, uh, that happened as well as me becoming a seamstress, or I can say I'm a part-time designer, um, I created a dress that I am going to insert here. And one, she's like a well-known actress here in Atlanta. She made her first debut on some show on BET this weekend. I don't think I was at my best of what I'm at now, and I'm still improving. Um, I also made a do-rag here that was published as well i've worked with the stylist i love the stylist that i work with and now i'm working at a fashion house and basically with a fashion house well i'm interning at one fashion house and i work at one fashion house and what a fashion house is is basically you send over what copies of um like for instance you have these patterns and you have these patterns patented and you send them over to a company so that the company can make the patterns that you have uh, of the outfit and we're competing with like Nike and like Reebok and stuff like that. My room's a mess and I'm giving you guys the realness of the real right now. Like my room's a mess. I'm getting ready for Jamaica and I just feel like I had to come up here. I'm all over the place so mind you I'm all over the place whatever but I had to come on here and give you guys like the rundown of like life update like something has been telling me you need to pick up your camera and actually like vlog what you have going on like you guys I have come such a long way there has been like times that I've really doubted myself and times that I've gotten so nervous in making or taking the next step but I actually did it I've lost friends and um goodness um jamaica that's what i came on here to talk to you guys about as well as give you guys a life update jamaica i am making my own outfits a couple of outfits for jamaica you guys i have worked my ass off and this journey of going to jamaica has been it's for my best friends oh my gosh yes she's my best friend because this bitch i've known this bitch for years but she has become one of my best friends and she is i can honestly say she's my spiritual sister and we're going to jamaica for her birthday we had planned this trip in uh, probably december so um yeah i'm making my clothes i'm designing my clothes for jamaica i'm gonna bring you guys along with me to jamaica and i haven't picked up this camera in a long time lord i hope that i can find my other sim card it's around here somewhere but you guys I don't know what's gonna happen but this is so this is so amazing um life is amazing and it's crazy um i'm i'm really doing this like i'm really living the life that i want to live i it's crazy that i've gotten rid of friends that i never thought i'd get rid of it's crazy that i've gotten over people that i never thought i'd get over it's crazy that i'm designing literally things that come to my mind that i want to wear so i mean you never know what's gonna happen or where life's gonna take you and i feel like that's so crazy and god is so amazing and i just had to let you guys know that before we go on this trip you guys i haven't picked up a camera in a long time and i'm probably gonna be like weirded out by talking to a vlog camera the whole time while i'm in jamaica i feel like i probably should have gotten another battery but it's what evs y'all it's what evs because y'all gonna get this footage regardless so i'm gonna stop rambling on because i'm at 10 minutes and i oh, this is so far what i have i have 
this i gotta put my strings in it i just created a skirt with the top and you guys are gonna see the rest of the outfits you guys are gonna see the drip as so everybody would say when i get to jamaica or when i get in jamaica Jamaica. that'll make me some poom poom shorts y'all oh my god i'm going to jamaica i'm going to jamaica all right i'm going to jamaica bye y'all you guys i made it to jamaica i'm in the elevator i'll vlog like the entrance way and everything else later but in the meantime i'm about to get to this room because i'm hungry and i haven't eaten all day there it is bitch this is nice oh my god and mixers and shit like that. Oh my that. God. Girl. Hey, for what we paid, mm -hmm. this is worth dope. it. It's yeah. worth it. Y'all yeah. Megan hooked this up. Let me stop playing. Yeah. But my anal, it be, it be right. Yeah. Like, that's how we do this. Dude, you gotta go slow. Do it the other way or something. Plenty more shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Why well, my ass is so dramatic? It's only one shot. This is the first shot. Like, but it's Jamaican. Have you ever had your? I've oh, never. Oh, what is that? I got red label. I'm gonna do the Jamaican rum next. I had a sandwich, so that's the first real thing I've eaten all day. I had a payday on the flight, and I was so anxious and nervous that everything else was a no. Like, I didn't even have food on my brain. You ready? Yeah. Ooh, girl, you got a coke. Come on now. Ooh, I'm about to. I'm about to have me a drink. I'm gonna be sipping all day, every day. <laughs> Baby, say that again. Can I talk about customer service? <laughs> they beat Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It is day two, Jamaica. Um, we up bright and early. Last night, we just went to the bar, had hella drinks. We went to dinner, then went to the bar, had hella drinks. <laughs> That's it. And then um, we discovered what this resort has. The one that we stay at, this is all inclusive. So basically anything we want, we can get. We want room service, we can do it. We want breakfast, lots of the room, we can do it. There are three, four, five different restaurants in this resort right here. There's a steakhouse, there's a regular buffet. Then there's um, Asian, like you can get sushi. Then there's Italian, and Italy. And they have the menus up there. And it's just like a regular restaurant, but it's three different places. Now, no, not three, five different places. For dinner, we had to get dressed up, go downstairs, y'all seen the whole buffet. The buffet was amazing. Like, we had oxtails on ours, and that's what my homegirl paid for. <laughs> um, <laughs> right now, we about to uh, go to breakfast, because I think it's nine, and breakfast is over at 10. After that, we're gonna end up going to um, one of the beaches to see what they have to offer. So today is just like a really, excuse me y'all, today is a real chill day. And we might end up at the club. They have a club inside this resort too. Like, okay, back to what I was saying about the resorts. 
That's what I'm saying. So this one's all inclusive. There's one next door. They offer like the um, scuba diving. Not scuba diving. Do they have scuba diving? They offer the water activities. I feel like they have scuba diving. So cross his fingers for that if I saw it correctly online. And the other one, which is next door, they call that basically the party one. It's like where the pool parties are at. It's where um, the club is at. And they're, they're a little bit more chill than this vibe over here. This vibe, we got a whole bar. We got anything you want. It's just not like top shelf alcohol. I feel like if you want top shelf alcohol, you probably got to go to the store for that. But it's like rum and like just just regular. It's not the cheap alcohols. It's the, the in the middle. Yeah, the, the middle. The in the middle. The medium. So yeah, that's what's over there. So I'm going to show y'all my fit real quick and then we got to go downstairs because... All right, y'all, so we're about to get breakfast real quick, and they have a full buffet. Over here, they have, like, all the waffles, croissants, um, pancakes, everything you want. Then they have the meats over there on the other side. I wanted to show you the whole juice bar. They have fresh squeezed juice. They have beet juice, mango juice, fruit punch, melon juice, pineapple, papaya, green juice smoothie. I'm definitely going to get that because I haven't been eating right. What's up guys? Alright, so we took a brief intermission and we came back because let me tell you something. We got up early this morning at eight and some change. We was over in this next resort from eight. Well, we went to breakfast, we ate for like an hour, and then we went over to this other resort next door, and they had a party going. Fun. Damn, you know how that party started early? No wonder he was with it at like 11.30 something. He was playing all the good mu music at 11.37, 11.40, 11.50. That's when we had came back home. You can call it home, but that's when we came back over here to like chill out. So now that we chilled, it's probably like 12. We about to go get lunch real quick. And then, oh yeah, girl, I love it. No, use that brush, use my brush. No, use my brush for your edges, that shit. I paid three ninety nine. That should be helping your girl out. But um, yeah. So now we about to go down get lunch. And did I explain to y'all the resorts? Okay. So I keep saying my homegirl hooked us up. This resort, our resort is like the main high end resort, and we have access to all three of the resorts. The one that we were at earlier, that was like one, two, two over. That's the party resort, and then over. I think one over here is another party resort. Ours is like the palace. It's like royalty. And then the next door is like older. I can say, I guess you could say, oh, my bad. I guess you could say like retirement people, like more chill over there. It's like a chill vibe. So they got some things going on later on tonight. But like I said, we about to go get lunch. We probably about to walk like out across the street. And then, um, I don't know. We're going to come back. Probably chill. For a little bit, or we might go down to the beach. But they said they have a silent party going on tonight, so we're gonna try and catch that before yeah, our excursion in the morning. Like we gotta get up by eight. So Lord Jesus, take the wheel. Lord, please <laughs> take the wheel. But I have on an outfit that I made, and that's what I'm about to go out in. Whatever. See what the fuck we about to get into? Cause I ain't, I ain't you know, I ain't about to be. Y'all just come along, bye.
Go ahead. Yeah, we just took the shot. Megan probably shot her shot so she can get the rest down. But bitches are just not realizing that we're 30 and we can't drink like we used to. <laughs> Girl, I don't see how you just We have, girl, and I've been drinking and this thing is gonna be Oh, it was horrible out there. All right, we went out to like the shops and we walked back because our car person like wasn't on the way back. It was like the worst, I don't know how to say the worst. It was like being harassed for about five minutes. You got back here. You got By different people. Different, like, first off, it's the man that was trying to pick us up and bring us back. He was harassed. Then it was some little boy on the side of the street. Then it was- And he just randomly popped up. Out of nowhere. It's like, guys, that blue. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? And then we were trying to cross the street. You you missed the man that was in the ambulance peeking all out the window. You missed that man. And then, oh man, it, it was us coming back through this gate. It was people outside the gate asking us like, hey, you trying to party here, party there, or let me give you a car that you want to go out. And then when we got back, we were trying to figure out like the prices and stuff, like if they want to take us somewhere. Uber. Y'all ain't got nothing on these prices just to take us up the street. But it's raining outside, so we're about to eat. No, we already ate. We're about to drink and eat drinks. And go back to the room and just chill out until, I guess, the silent party or whatever. That's later on tonight. And then we got to go to Gump Dollar Tomorrow. Sometimes I smoke and I feel overjoyed. Sometimes I smoke and I feel paranoid. Yeah. 